If Vic was here himself today, he would say, I had no intention of going into the drumstick business. And it really is a very true story because Vic, as a musician in the 50s, uh, would tell you that there were not a lot of commercially available drumsticks and mallets for anyone, and especially for uh, sophisticated, high-level uh, orchestral players to be able to explore different sounds and colors and different opportunities. And as he was looking to uh, be able to express with more quality in his sound, he found that if he was going to get something, he was probably going to have to make it himself. Um, and so Vic started dabbling, and some of that included some of his drumsticks. He actually bought marching size drumsticks and hand whittled them down to what he envisioned would be an idea. And then when he got something close enough, he engaged a wood turner to make the, the, the prototypes to his specs. And so it was really that simple. And then he kept making different adjustments in his sticks and his mallets. And what happened was the players in the orchestra, his colleagues in the orchestra started to notice, what are those, what are those sticks? What are those mallets? How are you making that sound? And then his students, the same thing from New England Conservatory, would hear him and say, what was that stick you were using? And then he would show them in lessons. And he really didn't mean to do anything other than say, oh yeah, I've made these sticks. And people would say, well, where can I get a pair? And he'd say, well, I'm not making them. I just, I just, well, could you ever get some made for me? So the next time he would call the wood turner, he would say, can you make me 12 pair this time instead of the two pair? And then he would hand them out. And before you know it, there was this word of mouth that spread. And then one day, um, Vic received a call from the owner of Frank's Drum Shop out in Chicago. Now, for people that are not my age, you may not know, that was the place for where drummers and percussionists bought gear at that time. And this gentleman said, Vic, I, I need to order some of your sticks. And he simply said, they're not for sale. He said, well, if you make me some, I will buy them and I will be glad to sell them. And so away Vic went. He called up to his, his uh, gentleman who, who was making sticks for him, ordered 24 pair this time, and then, bam, he was in business. That was 1963, and, and then game on.